Now, this one is called Weight Loss Surgery Quitting Outpatient ADHD. Hold on. <laughs> Weight Loss Surgery. This is a lot for a <laughs> title. This is clickbait. It might as well just say clickbait. Weight Loss Surgery Quitting Outpatient ADHD Anxiety and More Life Update. Uh, 35,000 views uploaded uh, over 24 hours ago. Okay. Rough, rough on the viewership. And just just the, the title of this video, I'm clicking mental illness rant. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hello, hello. Hey, guys. Hello. Welcome to a new video. January is laid back. It's just laid back. Wait, wait. Hello, hello. Hey, guys. This is definitely Dirty Lynn. This just is Dirty Lynn. <laughs> so welcome to a new video. January is late. Wait. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, Stop it. I'm not doing anything. I hear an Eve. Oh, Lord, she coming. What are you doing, Louis? Hi, Evie. When the vegetable touches your fork. <laughs> Hi Eve. I don't uh, have any snacks for you, baby. Hi Eve. Daddy got any snacks for Eve? Hello, Eve. Any snacks for Eve, Dad? Uh no. None that I want to give. Give Eve a sure. snack. I have like a, a little Give Eve a snack. Tell me. Tell Dad give a snack. Mm -hmm. oh, that, that was, was a good big one. one. Good job, Eve. It's a chewy. You gotta bite it. <laughs> so can I swallow this whole? What is this? I mean, she can, she could. Laid back. It's just laid back. Not many vlogs. It's because I uploaded. Here. Oh my gosh. Um, I did vlog myself all the way until the twenty fifth, but I was daily it? uploading before that, and I think I uploaded candies? over thirty vlogs okay. in a row. We'll pause this so you can just talk to the dog for a second. Why I like to talk to the dog. Well, I want to pay attention to what we're supposed but to do. But she's being so cute. Tell me. That's a good woo. It's because I uploaded. Oh my gosh. Um, I did vlog myself all the way until the 25th. Stinky. Dirty Eve. But I was daily uploading before that, and I think I uploaded over 30 vlogs in a row daily. So I'm like, your girl needs. I don't. I don't necessarily know if I count what she does as vlogs. No, vlogs are usually people like. Going out, doing things, showing yeah. things around their town, vlogging. <laughs> She's just talking to her phone on her couch. Effort. Talks about how crazy she looks. I mean, yeah, you can click that either way. A break from vlogging. So that is why it's been like just a couple vlogs here and there, low key, just like sit down videos. And don't mind my makeup. Um, I had different makeup. Her personality in this vlog is horrendous. Oh boy. Lovely. Up earlier, it was like this dark. I, it did not look good. I was trying to do like a dark eyeshadow, and I noticed that it just does not look that great on me. So no. But so I just only half-ass wiped it off and just left it smeared all over my face and thought no. I would come on camera like that. Her eyes are just that dark. No, she's got makeup smeared. This all video over her face. is updates, things that I want to talk about, show you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And don't worry. It's worth it. It's not a boring sit down video. It's totally worth it. First things first, I've, I've been wearing glitter. I love glitter on my eyes. You guys know that. I don't currently have it right now. I don't get the point in doing all this work on makeup to you don't leave your house. Well, I mean, if she's putting the video on and recording, okay. <laughs> it's, it would be, it's better than coming on and looking like a hot mess. Halloween-y but to see. I was wearing heavy makeup earlier. I wanted to just like take it all off. I started wearing a new glitter recently and people were like, oh my God, what is that? So I wanted to share. It's ColourPop Pressed Glitter. Um, I have a few of these and it just comes just like this. And this is in color High, H-A-I, in 20H1. So this is what it looks like. Y'all, like we're it. loving this. So that is why I wanted to show you guys exactly what it looks like. Why don't you, so you have guys those in a magnetic yourself. palette? A what? Magnetic palette. That's what those are for. It's a little pan. You, you get a big magnetic palette with like nothing in it. It's just a big magnet and you're supposed to stick those to it instead of putting them back in a little package every time. Okay. One, because it's amazing. I recommend it. It's wonderful. So the first thing I want to talk about is like people have been like coming for me. Oh, yeah, I see it. 
I see the personality. Look at, watch this. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I recommend it. It's wonderful. It's sassy land. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. So the first thing I want to talk about is like people have been like coming for me because I like to deep clean. I don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Get it. Why? Why y'all coming for me? Oh, yeah. Her personality is horrible. Who the fuck is she? Who is she watching on TikTok? Um, because I recently showed you guys that I was deep cleaning like all of my cabinets in my kitchen. And people were like, oh my gosh, she does this all the time. I literally haven't done it in a couple years. Um, so I think it was like kind of recently, the last time you cleaned. Yeah, kitchen. wasn't it like literally in the last video? Well, yeah, but she's saying before then, which just before then it was cleaning out the pantry like a month before then. Yeah. So people are like, why well, you just keep showing us cleaning the kitchen? So I don't know why y'all coming for me. I like to clean. I feel like if I... Never. I feel like I have nothing to make content about, so I'm just going to show you taking stuff out of my cupboards. <laughs> and then putting it back. <laughs> Evie, one more. You get this one, I get this one. These are the last two. Does mom want one? Uh-uh. Tell me. Catch? Uh Good catch. If I didn't do these things, people would be like, oh my gosh, she's so lazy. This is, fle this is flexing for sure. <laughs> Easy, da, da, da. You can never come for me for that because I like to deep clean. Um, and something I haven't done and I've been prolonging was deep cleaning the kitchen cabinets. <laughs> okay. It was crazy. And it's like, this is normally something I would film and I'd... I, yeah, I'm not going to really take any of her, oh, we're deep cleaning stuff too seriously when her carpets look like they are, have never been vacuumed. I want to film and I would be excited to film. And I know there's a large portion of people who would love to see it. I'd love to see it. I love it. Yeah, you like watching. Uh, she's about to say it. I guarantee she's about to say it. I love watching people clean. She likes watching clean talk or whatever it is. Yep. But they do transitions and they show themselves actually cleaning. We just kind of see Amber's before her snack stuffed closet and then after her stack snuffed closet yeah when people film stuff like that we all snack stuffed of oops i'd love to see it i love when people film stuff like that we all i'm suffering with a bad case of judgment itis i don't know oh wow her personality is really abhorrent here abrasive maybe yeah She's like a Brillo pen. <laughs> I just feel like judgment lately <clears throat> and like just like constantly and so much of it just like repeatedly, just like repeatedly and repeatedly is just really getting to me. Stop I, reading I the just, comments. I just don't like when people talk about when I clean because you it's it's just it's content. Right. People are saying you just cleaned the pantry two weeks ago. Why are we watching you clean the kitchen cabinets again? No, and she's like, everybody's judging me. You keep coming for me. Just don't fucking read the comments, Amber. Shut uh, up. Thank you, that goth bitch. Thank you, thank you. And it's just preventing me from filming what I want to film. And I have. You film whatever you want. She does film whatever she wants. No one's preventing her from filming anything. She films whatever dumb horse shit she feels like. You film whatever you want, but the fact of the matter is, it's not good. So people are going to talk about it. I'm going to count this as I'm so busy. I'm cleaning so much, guys. It's a shuffle. Am I pregnant? Am I... Oh, wow. Not bad for the first one. Yeah, not bad. Pregnant? Am I pargant? Am I gregnant? Am I pegnate? Help? Help? Is there a possibility that I'm... Pregnant? Am I pregnant or am I okay? Could I be pregonate? How do I know if I'm pregnant? Can I be pregnant? Can you get okay. pregante? Can you... <laughs> Uh, we're stealing her joy. Stop joy shaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, okay. I have felt like this in the past. I, I have. I've been on YouTube for like a decade now. And I have felt this way. But this feels different. It feels more heavy, more extreme. Um, it's paralyzing because it's like... <laughs> it's paralyzing. Jesus. I, I cannot move. <laughs> With the mean comments. <laughs> I don't know if it's a trauma response. Um, just like all of the nick. Oh, wow. Trauma. 
Uh, Chantel Slomo laugh. Congrats, nicely done. That is no small feat. Realizing nice. because it's like I don't know if it's a trauma response, um, just like all of the nitpicking, belittling. Trauma. It's a trauma response. Trauma. Okay, what trauma causes you to have to record yourself cleaning your cabinet three times a year? I would love to know. <laughs> you, I need some of that drama. <laughs> you look like a deer caught in the headlights right there. But since she's sitting here chewing on her necklace and I look over at her and she's like... <laughs> You guys are taking away things that I enjoy, like thoroughly taking it away. And I'm not going to fully taking it away. have judgment. Did anybody come and take your cabinets out of your kitchen? Nobody took that away from you, Amber. Just go play in your cabinets. No one is stopping you. <laughs> Zach, Zachary Michael. With Hire his... the construction team to come over and take her kitchen. He walks in with his pink hair and a, an impact driver and starts unscrewing the cabinet and puts it over his shoulder and just sneers at her and walks away. I'm taking this. You can't have this. <laughs> Just brrr, as he's unscrewing and going, no, no, no for you. <laughs> if you can steal her joy, can you steal her little Debbie? <laughs> oh my God. Jeez, I'm not even finishing that. Thank you, a serpent. I mean, I would. I hope y'all are doing well. Question, what's the intro song called again? I need it. Well, you don't need it, but I will tell you anyway. It is... Uh, bu -bu -bu Basic music, B A S I. Here, I'll just throw the link in the chat. Actually, then to, why don't we do that? It's basic music, B A S I C K M U S I C K. Stop me from showing things that I love. I can't, and that even includes something as simple as deep cleaning, y'all. You need to be doing it too. <laughs> You're not deep cleaning, Amber. You're just rearranging your snack hoard. It's not deep cleaning. You're not cleaning the floors. We have been. I, I highly doubt that she got out a step stool and went up and wiped out every single cabinet in her cupboard before she put the things back. I very much doubt that that happened. And if it did, Feline did it. Yeah, oh she yeah. didn't get up on a step stool to wipe off the top of the cabinets. Hell no. I that am, didn't happen. I am quite literally half her weight and I get nervous getting on a step stool. No, it didn't happen. She didn't do the deep cleaning. Feline may have, if it was done. I think it was just rearranged. We've been deep cleaning here. Not we, even really. We've been organizing. Well, organizing and cleaning-ish. Not deep cleaning. But we have been cleaning here, and we have cleaned more than she has. That's true. But I still wouldn't call it a deep clean. I think we should. Because I didn't, like, pull out everything, wipe everything down. That's a deep clean. I think it's about I time. I just organized it. I think it's about time to do that, though. We still have to finish. Yeah, I know. I'm lazy. I don't want to. Hey, it just needs to be done. Yeah, I know. I'm lazy. I don't want to. Like, remember to deep clean your homes like twice a year, maybe even more, whatever floats your boat. But things mm. like going through the cabinet, taking everything down, like, do that shit. And people are just like coming for me. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. What? Oh, this attitude is really terrible. Wow. You guys aren't kidding. Uh, well, I do need it, but thank you so much. I enjoy your guys' streams. Since the beginning, I want to say thank you for everything. Going to be there, whatever you go, wherever you go. Well, we're on the Sentence S channel right now if you want to head on over there. <laughs> I think I've just noticed that like YouTube really takes away joy. It's like the act, it's so weird. It's like the act of YouTube and the outcome of me uploading a video are two different things. I love filming, editing. I love editing. Why don't she you then? She loves editing. Why don't you do it then? She does. I love uploading. I love the whole process of the filming, the editing and all of that. But the minute my video Hits the big screen. That the big screen. Mm -hmm. She really inflated sense of importance. Oh, yeah. That's, that's where the joy is just taken from me. Because people are so horribly harsh lately. The hell was that? Horribly harsh lately. Like, they haven't always been harsh. One day a surgeon will have to deep clean the plaque. Yeah. You're right on the line with these serpent. You're right on the line. <laughs> and it's just been a lot. <laughs> But yeah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to scrape those out. They're only so big. And my anxiety has been 
You have to get in there with one of those roto brush. Oh, God. It, it hasn't been good. And I just noticed I'm very introverted. This is new. <laughs> this is very new. Um, when I was younger, I guess I would. Do you've been doing this for over 10 years, but this is very new. I don't know how to handle this. This is very new. Right. I consider myself. I've never been attacked by fat phobic sociopaths ever before on YouTube until I cleaned out my cabinets. Big screen. She thinks she's a movie star. Well, didn't you hear her in the last video talking about how movie stars are taking all of the Ozempic? So she's not going to do it too? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to be like them. Um, The opposite of that. And then as I got older, I was. Or no, I was... I'm sorry. It's I'm not going to be a bad one kind of thing. Right. She's not going to be a bad celebrity and steal the Ozempic from the plebs. The word for being both. Um, I was very much in the middle. Sometimes introverted, sometimes not. Da, da, da. Now. So like a normal person? Mm -hmm. Are we really trying to diagnose ourselves as an introvert v extrovert? Whatever that, it can to be special. That That's just called being normal. Like I, I am definitely more of an extroverted person, I think. But, you know, sometimes I feel like, eh, I don't want to do things. Right. That's just called being normal. <laughs> No, when Amber does normal, it's special. Oh, as I'm like older, I'm just like such an introvert. Like, I don't care. I'm so introverted, guys. I relate to all the TikToks. When I was younger, I could go out and do things. But now that I can't go out and do things, I'm an introvert. Yeah. I care about having like friends. I don't care about like leaving my. <laughs> Hard times. Diagnose normal. Shame. <laughs> I, I need a beer. Talk to... Wait, give me a beer. Is one in there? I don't know what's in here. All my wires are all crossed. And... So talk to the people. She's an introvert because she physically can't leave the house, right? Exactly. Exactly. It's like a new personality. Every video. It really is. Shell beans and rice. It really is. Oh, man. Okay. That is on my slate for this week because I have to organize over here because my computer and stuff is still set to leave. But I'm not, so I have to fix it and fix all this stuff. Up. It's quite annoying. Annoying. What the hell is that? Like a piece of chewed up toy that Eve chewed to bits? Eve. Are you chewing up stuff in here? Eve? Oh, leave it alone, Dad. <laughs> she knows. In apartment all the time, like, my... Does this count as Dr. Lynn? Not really, but I'll count it anyway. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Sorry. <clears throat> Bingo! Oh, my sister's not paying attention. We'll do the next one. Uh, it's my otters here! I, uh, why 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 is this not playing i had the same issue on friday what what is going on with chrome that, oh okay there she is i said my precious girl you're late are you late give us a mouth late tax yeah that's you late yeah, joy late, comes from just like peace my happiness comes from uh, how have we not gotten wipey dog i don't know twinkie too i feel like whenever Wipey's not there. Twinkie's not there. Probably out on a walk with Wipey. Calm. Yes, there are a lot of things I want to do in my life. Um, and I just, I can't do those things yet. I haven't gotten there yet because, hi, me. Do you see the size I am? So there are things that... Well, this it's a choice you made. Yeah, kind of. You have actively made this choice to be like this. Nobody made you do this. What I want to do and that I would be doing if it wasn't for my weight. That's a whole other story. We ain't got to get into that. But it also kind of just brings me to like... How much RAM do you have, Kermit? So I have a lot. I think I have like a hundred something gigs of RAM. But for some reason, if I have a, a, a video playing and it's like on OBS, it is mirroring the video play. It just chokes it. People want more. People just give us more. You're giving us nothing. What do you want me to give? <laughs> I'm a... F An effort? <laughs> You Tr don't care what the people want anyway, so why do you, why are you concerned if they're not happy with what you're giving them? I would I would like to see effort. I would like to see uh, trying right. and sticking with. 500 pounds, 5'2", 32-year-old woman with severe mental issues like depression. 
but and does nothing to. I don't think she has severe mental issues. I think that's an excuse. I mean, clearly there is something there, but not she, severe. She's not getting help for it. It's not. It's not severe. No, she's she's not. Uh, she she's not committable. I guess. No. Like she she clearly does not have anxiety. She clearly doesn't have a lot of these issues. She's cl she claims to have. To the degree she claims to have it. Right. Everything she has is, like, debilitating, even though she's perfectly fine. Does this count as mentions mobility, do you think? Yes. Okay. Which is another bingo. Nice. Another one. No, I don't like this one. <sighs> Cheers! No, I'm hopping up. <laughs> Depression and anxiety and bipolar, okay, we need et cetera, et cetera. So we can have that one. What do you What do you want me to give? Like, I feel like I'm giving. I feel like I'm giving. <laughs> you're not. I promise you're not. All that I have. I'm giving all that I have. And it's just not enough. And I understand a few comments here and there saying, you're not enough, you're not doing enough, et cetera, et cetera. But when you hear it, like, from so Nobody in her comment section tells her she's not enough. I just, I refuse to believe that. I outright deny that that's happening. I'm sure they're telling her that she's not putting enough effort into making her videos. And that's fatphobic or something. Uh, Becky, T for five, just wanted to show my appreciation a little bit more. Uh, you've been a great channel so far. We've all had so much fun and I'm looking forward to you guys. Or I'm looking forward. You guys are strong, AG, I think you mean AF. For keeping up no matter the circumstances you have my utmost respect thank you becky i really Aww, appreciate thanks, that becky. very kind i appreciate the five that is five more dollars to our weight loss surgery goal <laughs> yes if you guys want to contribute to that you know exactly how to do it Streamlabs down below entire menu may i uh as your sommelier for the night may i suggest the uh, 3285 as a premium donation it has a lovely reverberation effect on the ear balls so many people and just so calm. or the 2776 a guaranteed shelly squee constant and repeated oh. it really does <coughs> you it, it starts to become like kind of abusive it feels abusive no. <laughs> oh boy it's a, our her relationship with her audience is abusive mm -hmm. the audience is abusing her yep the thing she chooses to do every day ah <sighs> So tiresome. Um, and I don't like it. Like I have thick skin clearly because like I still do YouTube and I can handle the hate rather well. I should be allowed to express like the way that I feel and Sin how- Correct, her mental health issues seem to have increased over the years as it became more clout worthy. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, it's it's a thing where mental health issues as a whole on the internet kind of seem- popular to, thing now. They've become, I, I don't know if I want to say fetishized, but they have been kind of glorified, mm -hmm. especially anxiety and uh, autism is a really weird one. Yeah. It, glorifying autism is very weird. Like people who actually have and suffer from autism do not think it's really gl glorable. You know? Right. Glorious. Do not think it's really glorious because it's, it's a lot of stuff. Like we, the comedian we saw Friday night was like my son is 22 years old and he's severely autistic and I have to take care of him every day. That'd be hard. I feel lucky that my boys, while on the spectrum, they're not that bad. Uh -huh. People make me feel, and I feel like it's really important that you guys hear that a lot of you make me feel bad about myself or just you guys turn my happiness into the opposite of happiness. And <laughs> The opposite of happiness. That and Tourette's, uh, Tourette's uh, probably pretty hard. <laughs> thick, skin on the, thick skin on the outside and a creamy filling <laughs> 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 on the inside. Thank you, Serpent. Damn, you're on point with these. And I don't like it, and I don't want to be gaslit because I... Amber, you actively gaslight everybody around you at all times. Yes, she does. I hate that because I feel like I can't share how I feel with you guys, and it begins to feel just very one-sided, like... You guys can tell me all these things about me and nitpick and like express yourselves in any way that you want to. Send me 
long ass messages about how horrible of a person I am or how boring my content is. But then like when I go to tell you guys, hey, like, can we slow down a little bit? Like you guys. Amber, you put this stuff out there for everybody to see and talk about. Nobody is forcing you to upload this stuff. Nobody is making you do this. You are actively deciding to do it. Nobody is forcing her to read messages from people that don't like her either. She has, a, I'm sure, a big portion of her audience are actual fans of hers. She gets a lot of very nice comments in her comment section. They're not all hateful and mean. Every time we scroll through, it's a lot of, you go, girl. You're doing so great. I just love you, Amber. She gets fan mail to her P.O. Box. Make videos for those people and ignore the people who don't like you. What? People who actually enjoy your content don't want to be sitting here and lecture to me told, you guys are doing this to me and you guys are doing that to me. They're not doing it. You're choosing to focus on the 10 people who wrote you a mean message on Instagram. Fucking ignore them. If I actually was a fan of her, I would stop watching because all I'm feeling is I'm being lectured to about shit that I have nothing to do with. Uh, my nephew is autistic and it's really severe. His mother hasn't gotten him help once. He's six, diagnosed to two. He still can't talk. Oh, that's so sad. That's got to be so, so frustrating. I, and I have not personally dealt with for any extended period of time, but seen and been around uh, children who were nonverbal by like four and they, their frustration of not being able to communicate how they feel was just palpable. Mm -hmm. That's, that is, I really wish I didn't read that comment. Damn. You guys turn it around and like make me seem like I'm just like this raging. See you next Tuesday. When I'm no, you're not. You're, you're constantly raging though. And you need to stop. You try to do what Chantel does, and you don't do it well uh -uh. because you don't believe the stuff you're saying. I, you just don't. I know you don't believe it. I'm not. I'm just like fed up a little bit. So that is another reason why I'm just having like a hard time filming and just kind of needing a break from that sort of headspace. And a lot of people could say, get off the internet. No, we need to focus more on getting... Uh, that goth bitch, one of the things that I remember being talked about, I don't remember the resource for it. I just remember the, the doctor, because it, it was literally in passing, uh, saying it to somebody, nonverbal, uh, like a, something to point at. I, there, there's a word for it. I don't remember what it was, because it's like two years ago. But like you point at it, and it it's, uh, ah, damn. So it's a picture right. with different colors. So they can like point at what they need? Yeah, point at how they're feeling and kind right. of express. I forget what it's... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, for, I forget what it's called. <laughs> but it, not sign language. It's it's kind of like a non-verbal visual indicator. Okay. It, maybe yeah. a peck system? I don't know. But it's like different colors. And they said that they use it in schools and all this stuff. So that might be something we're checking out. The hate off the internet. Don't kick off someone from YouTube who thoroughly enjoys it just because they're getting hate. That doesn't make sense. So another update. Okay, wait, wait. She said she doesn't need to quit YouTube. People who <laughs> are hateful needs to be kicked off the internet. Uh. That's what needs to. Jesus Christ. Uh, so just ignore them, Amber. Just fucking ignore them. It's I'm not the problem. Everyone, Everyone else is. is. <laughs> People who are mean to me are the problem, not me gaslighting FBI and lying. Frank, get them. Yep. And not the people gaslighting, or I'm sorry, not me gaslighting, not me lying, not me actively uh, antagonizing, doing stuff I know will get views and attention and all this stuff. That's perfectly okay. But people saying that my editing is lazy is fat phobia and they need to be banned from electricity. Right. It I have is my ADHD. As you guys know, I have been wanting oh to get assessed God. for that. And I finally have oh, someone. My ADHD. I've been wanting to get diagnosed with it. I, I know I have it though. I, I need a diagnosis so that I can be special and have ADHD too. Because the people on TikTok have it, so I should too. Exactly. Calling me. Um, they're supposed to be calling me within like the next five days. They want to evaluate me over the phone to see if I even need to take the step to get assessed because they don't want to just like assess me right off the bat. They would rather evaluate me first. Astronaut Cat said her haters pay the bills, but get rid of them. Not exactly. only that, but if you remember during the live stream era, she was getting like 200,000 views per video. 
Now she's sitting at like 35,000. So a lot of people did F off mm-hmm. and are not interested in watching her and really only do watch through reaction channels. So that's why she wants them FBI franked off the internet as well. Sucks to suck, girl. Just Jamie said people who disagree with her equals hateful. Yeah. Yep. yep. Exactly. Thank you for the support. Much appreciated. So I'm really excited that I'm finally taking the steps to do that, which also brings me to my psychologist. As you guys know, um, last year, wow, yeah, it's been almost a year, I decided to get a psychologist and start an outpatient program. And I thought she was uh, seeing a psychologist for a long time. Mm. Uh, another lie, crazy. Mm. There was a moment where I was like, no. she says and remember what she said before when she says something different now. <laughs> That's hateful. What? I quit. I can't do this anymore. <clears throat> but it wasn't even, oh God, I feel like it wasn't even a week. It wasn't even a week later. And I was like, I know I need to do this. So I started seeing the psychologist again. And so I've been seeing. She's using an app to self-diagnose. She Remember, she used BetterHelp to diagnose like 18 different things, too. Mm-hmm. I've seen the psychologist for over a year. And the psychologist. <laughs> All right, Khaleesi freak out. We can go ahead and click that one off. I don't think Khaleesi understands what poly words are. <laughs> is I don't think from she an outpatient program. Cute. So <laughs> yeah. it's a lot of intensive <laughs> therapy. But the thing is, it's a health at every size angle. And I can't have that angle. If- but if they don't have that angle, they're fat phobic sociopaths who you can't work with because they're judgmental. So yeah. which one is it? Yeah. If I plan on getting weight loss surgery, um, having an angle of health at every size and the way that that program works. Uh, I've got true blue ADHD. It's very frustrating to deal with, a hard to function. There's a shortage of ADHD medication right now. She has no problem taking that, but doesn't want to use those. Ah. It's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. Works. Would not work. What? Eve, where are you? Damn. With me getting weight loss surgery. So, that's hard. A uh, healing cloud said, I'm pretty sure she lied about her outpatient. I, I agree. I agree. As it is, I have to get a different psychologist and it's very hard because the one I was seeing, there's not a single bad thing I can say about this person. Incredible psychologist. Like she. Always downing hamburgers. <laughs> Donuts. <laughs> Damn, sir, but you were on a roll tonight. <laughs> ADHD always. <laughs> Downing hamburgers and donuts. Oh, uh, I had a donut yesterday, and I'm really, I really, I'm not big on sweet treats. I got fed off cheeseburgers, not snacks. Blah 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 blah
like, okay, well, the, the phrase wasn't mythical hero, my ankle tendon. The phrase wasn't mythical hero, my, uh, my temptations. It was mythical hero, Achilles. If you're not well-versed in mythology, you're not going to think that the thing in my tendon, that phrase people have is the same thing. Like, I wouldn't think of it. I just never would. And someone's like, well, I learned that in like sixth grade English class. It you know what? Matter. They're not he teaching that now. He, he, he pronounced it how it's spelled. He knew what he was reading. He knew what he was saying. He guessed all the letters. He should have won. Mm-hmm. And not only that, not only that, what about things that are debatable on how it's pronounced? Yeah. What if somebody had the Maldives as an answer? Mm-hmm. And then it, they're like, oh, the, the Maldives. Well, they go, no, you dumb piece of garbage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know pronunciation. Well, apparently they would because pronunciation matters in that. I know pronunciation matters, but I disagree with that calling. I disagree. Yeah, anyway. they should have gave it to him. Anyway, and he had like four million bucks. I think they just That's didn't want to That's probably why they didn't yeah. want to give it to him. They were like, yes, he mispronounced it. <laughs> Next person. <laughs> I, I just, anyway. Anyway, sorry. He took her passion and she created art with it. She taught me so much and she made me see things so differently and she understood me, but she also challenged me. And that is so badly what I wanted. And now I have to get a different psychologist because getting weight loss surgery is my goal. And there are psychologists that are specifically for bariatric patients, for patients who are planning on getting weight. being talked about. It was a episode of Wheel of Fortune. The guy knew all the letters, and got to the end, and pronounced the word incorrectly, so they didn't let him win. And he had like four, four and a half million dollars. Yeah. Like he, he knew every letter. He was just one after the other, pulling them all up until he read the thing and said it wrong. Yeah, the the answer was mythical hero Achilles, and he said mythical hero Achilles, mm-hmm. which is how it's spelled. It's how it's spelled. And they said, no, you don't get it, stupid. You're not getting your money. <laughs> Get the F out. F you. <laughs> uh, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Sin. <coughs> uh, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Sin. As someone who lives with a nonverbal, highly autistic older brother, life is hard but manageable. Try to clean up meh, on the walls and pass out on the floor. What? Try to clean up poop off the walls and pass out on the floor, Amber. Also, check the twat. Sin, love all of you. Okay, I will do that shortly. And uh, Malanska for the 777. I have a schizoaffective disorder. I hope I pronounce it properly. This bish doesn't have a clue about mental illness. Thank you for the great content. As always. Khaleesi says that's a failure in education. I just don't think they teach that anymore. Probably not. They probably just don't teach that. Like, I, I assume they don't. They they didn't really teach that when I was in school. No, not really. We learned kind of broad brush stuff, but never... Oh, here's... This is the Iliad. This is the Odyssey. Homer and all this stuff. I kind of just picked it up through osmosis. Right. And I assume just life choices along the way, you won't go down that rabbit hole. I don't know. Also, also he was foreign. Ah, piece see? of piece yeah. of garbages. Right? The yeah, piece of garbages. KDF said, "Hey, Sin was wondering if there's a way we can see the old Amber videos. Really enjoyed them. Keep up the great work." Um, I might make them public. I don't know. I kind of hit a lot of that stuff. Uh, let me kind of mull it over. And we'll see. We'll see going forward. I might bring some over here. I don't know yet. So the answer is maybe. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. Uh, hey, you cheeky sausages. The ratio on the Sin and Sash channel is good, but you can do better. Well, let's take a look. Uh, 350 watching and 240 likes. That is not bad, but could be better. You guys, smash that like button. 240 watching on the Sinatra says and 120 stuff. Some who gives a shit likes. Guys, smash the like button. <laughs> Personal education, everyone individually is responsible for being well-read. That's that's fine, but reading something and knowing how to pronounce it are not the same thing. I mean, yeah, he could have read all about mythology 
And just reading a book in your head and never hearing anyone else say it is not going to teach you the right way to pronounce the word. Like the books I'm rereading right now, quote unquote, the the first law, the one of the main characters' name is Glockta. Now, if I did not see that, I'd be like, what the hell is a Glockta? Right. Because it's G-L-O-K-T-A. So in my head, that's Glockta. But I hear it pronounced. I know it's Glockta. So it's just one of those things. It's one of those things. They should have given it to him. Weight loss surgery because undergoing weight loss surgery is like a freaking whole other lifestyle change like no other. You completely, absolutely change your life. And also if he's, if he's foreign, a foreign English speaker, it's still like maybe they just pronounce it differently in wherever he was from. So I have an amazing weight loss surgery update. I have. You're a ridiculous lunatic, exactly. These days, the History Channel's about UFOs and shit. Yeah, it's Pawn Shop and Ancient Aliens. Yep. I've officially... I used to love the History Channel. Now it is just unwatchable. Because I don't give a flying fart about somebody selling oh, this uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Le uh, Mel Gibson guitar... <laughs> Mel Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> Gibson. <laughs> Can Gibson guitar. I don't give a shit. I don't want to see about ancient. I want to learn. I want to go back to the history channel days where they were breaking down biblical stuff. I want that uh -huh. scheduled an appointment. So the appointment is scheduled. So I got an email from like the person who's I would have never known it's Blanche Devereaux. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Balance Durex. <laughs> Schedule the appointments <laughs> saying that these are the dates that we do um, like the, is it intake? Intake appointments? I don't really know what it's called. I'm sorry. Um, but she was the one who schedules those. And she said, these are, you know, the options. And so I picked one, chose one. And she said, okay, I'll get you scheduled. And then I will send you another email that is going to show you what that um, appointment is going to consist of and how long it takes and like the rules for it and everything. So I officially have the email. Um, it's she a whole has day an affair. appointment. It's a whole day affair. Oh my God. Um, I think the appointment is over six hours. So... I'm excited. I'm excited to do this. I'm excited for her, and I hope that she goes to this appointment, but I really have a feeling the day's going to come, and she's going to have some kind of something that prevents her from going to this appointment. The doctor's office never called me and told me about it. <laughs> something is going to prevent her from going. It won't be her fault. Clear. It'll be someone else's fault that she couldn't make it to this doctor's appointment, or they canceled it and never gave her another date. It's going to be something. A six hour long intake appointment for weight loss surgery. She's already scared. I hope she goes, but I don't think she will. Uh, here's another one to just to pull it back a little bit. I made the uh, Oaxacan coffee. It's a mezcal coffee. And Oaxacan is spelled with an O. So if, if that was an answer to something and someone was like, oh, Oxican, but they go, no, stupid, you don't get the money. It's Oaxacan, you uneducated dipshit. Like, no, it's it. Come on, be realistic. It's, it's gonna be a long drive. It's gonna be stressful, um, but I'm excited to take this step because this is like the real, true beginning steps. Is this appointment because a lot of important. She's not gonna go. Did she have an intake appointment a year ago, Susan? I forgot about that. I, I just I don't believe she's gonna go. I just simply don't. Right, and it's a long, hours-long car ride. It's, it's, her anxiety was going to flare up or something's going to happen. She's not going to be able to make it. Important information is said, and you learn a lot of things. And obviously, I'll share more about it when I do have the appointment. Obviously, I can't film there. That would be... But yeah, that's another point. Uh, Marie Michelle in the chat is putting, like, uh, uh, Dubrow or Bar Bo du Bar 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 Damn it. You're not even saying it Bordeaux right. or ba Barbaro. We, U X Bordeaux, Bo, the kind of Southern spelling of stuff. And it's like, a, I, I don't know how to pronounce it because I don't remember. I haven't seen the movie since I was like, it's been 15 years and I watched it on a lark wasted. But yeah, the Southern spelling of stuff, it just it like, it, it doesn't make sense. Try getting somebody to spell uh, bow. Someone saying B O U X or B O U O X, whatever. Like Barack's? No, it's bow. You uneducated. 
Anyway, <laughs> I, I will go off on this forever. Okay. Uh, again, yes. Hi, Sin. Hi, Shelly. Happy early birthday to me and birthday to Miss Sin. Going to be 21 so Ooh. that I can start trying to make Sin speakeasy recipes. Uh, also, I see y'all got the Shrek blanket I sent. Now, oh, Shelly yeah. doesn't have to be cold during streams. Thank, Thank you, you bye so bye. much. Is Thank you so much. Is the, the, the blanket is very soft. It is. If I just close my eyes and don't look at it, it's a very soft blanket. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's it, too, is Southern <laughs> spelling is a lot of French because Louisiana was French territory. Exactly. Crazy, but I will share a You're eight Cajun French, that kind of Creole stuff. As much as I feel comfortable sharing, um, I, I go back and forth. I'm like, Thibodeau do I really want to share this name? journey? Do I really no, want to share no, this journey? Because wait, jail. Okay, fine. No, Mispronouncing a word is honorable. It means you read it somewhere. A Klingon quote. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. I'm not. I am not really a big Star Trek fan. Or Doctor Who. I haven't you watched. You need to watch Doctor Who. Just until they get the woman doctor and then stop watching. But don't watch her. That's like just 60 years of TV. You don't watch the old ones. You just watch the the new version. What's wrong with the old ones? They're old. You like Twilight Zone? It's different. It's They're not good. Twilight Zone's good. No, Twilight Zone is good. All Doctor Who's are just old. Twilight Zone and uh, what the hell's that other show? Um, all of them. I like all those kind of shows. I just don't like all Doctor Who. Please don't try to adjust your television set. We are in control. What's outer limits? Yeah, outer limits. Well, surgery is something that I feel like is the final. Yeah, hors d'oeuvres. Somebody spell out hors d'oeuvres and pronounce that shit if you're not American. <laughs> We've had this fight several times, apparently. Cool for me. And it's like, if this doesn't work, then what? Yeah, then, like, truly. Christopher Ellickson, only knew who, right? John Galt, right? I've tried everything. I've done everything. And I feel like when people get weight loss surgery, it's because they're finally like, I've tried everything and nothing works. And that's where I'm at. Like, this is like, this is it. And Feline is incredible. Like, the fact that she wants to help me pay for weight loss surgery, I don't know, it like warms my heart help. a lot. And yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's a month of your income. You should very easily be able to get on the payment plan and pay for that. No problem. Yeah, there is credit for mm -hmm. for stuff like this. There, There is credit for stuff like this, but she just doesn't want to do it. That's no. all it is. She doesn't want to do it. No. it. Lessens the stress and obviously lessens how much I have to save because, like, I've also been super stressed about that. I'm just going to find everything. Meow, meow. Chaos as the latter said, if you ever decide to get into Star Trek, recommend DS9. The rest isn't as good. Man, Drunkle and Polly, hours and hours have gone back and forth. I don't understand it. Star Trek is one of those things where it's like, okay, I don't know where to start. I liked it's like 40K. watching the old Star Trek with William Shatner. I liked watching those. It's like 40K. I don't know where to start. And I know you guys told me last week, but I don't remember. Everything out. <laughs> Charcuterie. <laughs> you know during that first appointment and what they think and like the steps i need to take and i'm just so excited to just like get the list like what type of tests do i need beforehand like cause sometimes did she just say what if weight loss surgery doesn't help yes because she is literally already working herself up to to fail this because the undertaking of this task is so far out of her ability yeah this is a big task it just is what it is they want like to do a sleep test they want to get your heart checked or all types of different things. And I know they're probably gonna wanna check my gallbladder. Um, I feel like that's probably what's gonna happen because it's very, very common to get your gallbladder taken out during um, weight loss surgery. So I just feel like there's gonna be like things, especially like they're probably gonna- Yeah, and if it's hurting you and bothering you all the time, why not? Are you gonna be like, well, they wanna take my gallbladder out, so I'm not gonna do it now. Like, come on, Amber, quit looking for excuses. Let them take it out. It bothers you anyways. Want me to see a psychologist and that's something- I Sam, you should- uh, you should listen to the first law. I think you would genuinely like that a lot. I already know, but I'm just excited to get that list. It is the most solidly built world of fiction I have ever seen in my life. Like, it is unbelievable. Uh, by the way, my birthday is today. The stream is one of my gifts. Happy birthday, Melanska. Happy birthday. So many birthdays. So many parents getting busy to do those things, to do the responsible things, to do the right things, and just check, did it, check, did it, check, did it. So I'm really excited to just get everything 
together. Like my anxiety and my anxiousness and just everything is like, oh my God, I want this appointment to be over with. So I have to wait. It's in a couple weeks. So it is gonna be happening though. And I'm so excited. Oh my God, wow. I'm like pumped. So the next thing I wanna share with you guys is I'm so out of my reading slump. It's, it's, it's not even funny. I'm like so out of my reading slump. I can't stop reading. <laughs> so I finished Snow Falls by Gary Hill. Did not really like it. Because it was a lesbian relationship. Yeah, you already, you already, yeah, you already showed us you didn't like it because it was a lesbian romance book. You only like men romance books. We're skipping through her teen. Oh, here, there's the journal. Dun, dun, dun. Having people, actually, a lot of people. I don't have Audible. Well, get it. People. When I Would you, what's the app? Um, Audible? No, it's a different what one. Do I, know? I don't have it. <sighs> the lady at the bar told me about it. Um, Hoopla. If you have a library card, I don't know if it's all... Oh, that's the free library app? Yeah, it could be on there, too. I an update on my bullet journal. So I'm going to give you guys an update on some of the pages, because some of the pages, even that I have showed you, since they're now, like, written in and filled out and stuff like that, it is personal. So there are actually quite a few pages that I will be showing you. I'm just going to show you. <laughs> this is from Ammo. Happy birthday. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is inappropriate. <laughs> and not the good kind of inappropriate, either. Some, I guess know. um I'm not really sure which ones you guys are the most interested in but um uh Gator I'm checking Twitter as you requested I'm not seeing anything from you my dude I I'm sorry I don't see it Here's the pounds lost that's how that looks So far here are my doodles One daily doodle I know that it's just a doodle in the, okay. Okay, is I it what I, I remember going through every page of this. None of it really seemed like it was that personal. It's like, how am I feeling today? What's the weather like? Absolutely. Did I eat too much food today? No, I can't show you. It's very personal. What what in here is personal? I have no idea. The weather or how much food you ate? We already know it was too much. Dragon Mama. Sorry, Shelly is wrong. <gasps> you have to watch Doctor Who from the break. Nope, not reading it. Nope. You don't need to watch it from the beginning. You have to you watch. You understand the canon if you watch it from Christopher Alexson. That's as far back as you need to go. You have to watch it from the very, very beginning to understand the canon. No, you don't. I didn't watch it from the very beginning, and I understood the canon just fine. What if you don't? I do. What? The old stuff is not important. It starts with the new stuff. I have no with idea. Rose, and we that's have like where we start. A broom. Uh, we have a heart. We have some flowers. Otter, why are you mowing? We have a cloud with She's some lightning. I don't know, just some random things. So here's the hours I slept. That's how that one looks. My sleep rating. A lot of one-star ratings. Like she's up and down all night, stressed. That's how that one's looking. Again, I started on the seventh, so that's why. So we made this whole thing and didn't start till a quarter of the way through. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just like that. My little makeup moment. <laughs> And she just made all these extra boxes on every page for literally no reason. She could just start at seven. There was a minute there where I was like, nope, I don't feel like wearing makeup. My hairbrush moment. I have brushed my hair every single day. In I don't believe. I don't believe her. I just don't. January. That's a lot for me. I know for you guys, it's probably like really like depression. My hair goes first. My hair literally goes first. I. Okay. I will go weeks. I will go months without brushing my hair, but I have brushed my hair. I don't, how can you do that? I genuinely I don't, don't understand. understand. No, her hair is probably a foot longer than mine, and I couldn't do it. Like, doesn't it dread if you don't wash it or brush it for a month? Yes. Every single day in January. And it's like, I almost say, it's like, if you don't understand what I'm saying when it comes to, like, depression and hair brushing, be lucky. Don't judge. Just be lucky. So this is where my anxiety... I haven't had a single day with none. What do you... I don't... Why? I, I just... I genuinely don't understand why. I, I don't know. You sit around your house all day. Your, your, your world doesn't extend out past your doorstep. That's true. Uh, if you can buy into the setting... You should choose the ST episodes that topically interest you. Most are self-contained, excluding two-parters and the Borg. DS9 and YOV started a series arc. Mentality. Watch TSO movies 2, 3, 4, and 6. IMO 2 and 6 are top. All right, thank you. 
and that I hate like really <laughs> so this is my energy tracker I have been very low energy the last few days as you can see here so I have not started exercising uh, I'm shocked shocked as you can see no exercising um I do move more though I try to move more that's why <laughs> there's an option for that what is move more? Get off the couch. Is, you think that's what it is? Stand in the kitchen. I don't understand what move is. I and by moving just more, moving. I mean like I'm on my feet for a lot of the day. Um, whether it be just like cleaning or just like purposely standing throughout the day or like just like purposely walking. Um, so that's what I mean by that. Or like I went somewhere, did something that involved a lot of walking. So here is my crybaby tracker. If anyone cares to Wait. see that. Oh, still. So we've cried sad tears. We've cried every day. Mm -hmm. We have cried every day. Mm -mm. No, is that no tears? That light pink is no tears. Okay, so we've not cried for one day. No, one, two, three, four, five days. Of no cry. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. I, the I was, dark pink is happy tears. I was looking at the happy tears. So we've cried every day. <laughs> See that? There has been a few days where I haven't cried. So that kind of shocked me. So as for like my binging pages or like my on off track pages, I will share those um, in my next weigh in. So this is my nap page. I haven't been napping. And this one was because I accidentally colored it the wrong color because I thought I had flipped the page and I didn't. Um, so it should also be pink, but haven't been napping. So here's a look. You, you don't do anything little temperature one what the weather has been it has only snow this is the stupidest page i think yes the temperature in this one day that's it i love this productivity one i have noticed that i am not as productive the last what what productivity to what end i don't understand filming a video boohoo it is and i need to figure out why so here is my pages read. I have been doing a lot of reading. So she's reading a hundred pages a day. Mm -hmm. X, X to doubt. I told you. Why are they guys, all different shades of green? I don't think it's been a single day I haven't read. And so I have it marked the books that I've already read and completed and how many stars I've given it. We are six and minutes so into 23 and she's done a quarter of her thing. I just, I don't believe. I just don't. I have it marked the books that I've already read and completed and how many stars I've given it. You guys can read this if you want, but this is just um, my thoughts every day based on where I was in the book. So this is my subscriber tracker. And honestly, I gain subscribers every day and I did not know that. So I just want to say thank you guys for subscribing. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, subscribe. I want to Maybe you should stop yelling at your audience so much if you have new subscribers. Maybe they didn't subscribe to hear themselves being bitched at for things they didn't do. They literally just got here. Yeah, I'm not subscribing. It's not happening. I see it go up even higher. I never tell people to subscribe. It's kind of weird, but I said it this time. My water tracker is horrible, you guys. How do you not drink water? I don't drink that much water. <laughs> But you drink more than 16 ounces a day. Oh, yeah. But not as... I mean, you're supposed to drink a lot. Look at zero ounces, zero ounces, zero ounces, zero ounces. One ounce. Yeah, I know. How do you drink no water a day? That's crazy. What is it, just soda? Probably. Just soda and Welch's juice? I drink mostly coffee. I, I, I drink I drink the big bottle of water at work. If I go to the gym, I drink a big bottle of water. When I come home, I drink my iced waters. Yeah. But I, drink, I, I, I drink a lot of coffee also. I drink the bean juice in like three of these a day. Yeah. I have one of them big. But still probably not as much as you're supposed to drink. Uh, this thing's pretty big. That's probably like 32 ounces maybe. It's bigger on the outside than it is on the inside. Yeah, this thing's probably... 32 ounces and mm -hmm. I drink three or four of these a day look how bad that is look at all these zeros it's because it's a lot of diet root beer and a lot of diet caffeine free Pepsi so I, I don't I doubt wholeheartedly she's drinking diet soda but she probably does most overweight people drink diet soda because they think it's doing something it doesn't 
No, it doesn't. <laughs> Sam, no wonder fucking cold blood hurts. I wanted to start a little like, did I film that day? Um, I did not show you guys this one actually. Um, so there's filmed and did not film. So these are the days that I have filmed and did not film. So I have filmed almost every day except for four. So she could just not, she just doesn't work some days. That is crazy to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to not work for like three days. I'm not going to do anything. It's, it, it, I, I wish. I wish. <laughs> Again, up here, that don't count. But it's going to be cool to kind of go back and see that. And then I also have a, did I upload? So I have a uploaded or did I not upload? Which one? Which one is it? Um, I was going for the every other day. And then right here, we kind of messed that up. And then here is my um, notes for my lovely wife. My lovely wife. Wasn't many. I read it pretty quickly. Five total strangers. I also read that one pretty quickly. So my notes on that is kind of short and sweet. I don't believe she's reading these. To the point. And then the book that I'm reading now is The Flat Share. So mm, that is... Maybe very short books. What I will be uh, I mean, but clearly next. she's not understanding them as she's reading them because she doesn't know how to say any of the words. So she's just like Achilles all the way through and has no <laughs> idea what she's fucking reading. <laughs> And then I've been doing Instagram Q and A's um, daily. It's just something I want to do. So I decided. Again, to, it's I, this is another thing that I just I don't understand. Just sitting on her phone, constantly refreshing, answering ninety-one questions, seventy-seven questions, forty-some questions on Instagram. Who has the time? Amberlyn Reed. I did to add this tracker where I put how. She probably uses Audible. No, you can't. There's no way. Unless she is sitting there literally all day listening to her books, there's no way. I mean, then what's the point of actually buying the book, too? I don't know. I would like to buy the First Law series. I mean, no, if you listen to it and then like it and want to own the books, okay, but she would be, like, buying them and then also buying them on Audible and holding it up pretending like she's... What would be the point of that? I would like to buy the First Law series, if not just to support the author, because they're really, really good series. Same thing with King Killer. How many I answer every single day. And I started off doing a lot, y'all. I was doing like 71, 61, 77. <laughs> the last few days I've only answered like 23 or like 31. But I still have fun doing that. So that is my update on there. So many of you said that you guys have started bullet journaling because of me. And I literally love that. I'm upset. I, I doubt that. I just, I don't believe you. Huh. Bullet journaling has been so... There's a loud plane. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but... Bullet journaling has been so therapeutic. It takes like 10 to 15 minutes every single night. Like people were like, oh my God, how does she have time to bullet journal? Ma'am, what? Like there are TV shows up the yin yang and movies up the yin yang. And it's like, people can sit there and say, yeah, I watched like two episodes of my favorite show. What? So 45 minutes each, 40 minutes each. So it's almost two hours of just sitting doing TV show while a bullet journal, you know, takes even like just like 15. Amber, you do nothing all day. Most people don't come home from work or get done doing their day-to-day -day stuff and think, I'm going to go color in my journal for an hour. <laughs> when I get home from the studio, the last thing I want to do is, mm, let me color these little squares in. Huh? I want to shut my brain off as much as I possibly can to the point where I can breathe and make sure my family doesn't spontaneously combust. She doesn't have any of those things to do, though. There is no... The brain's already shut off all day. Yeah. It's, this is insane to me. I should get Audible right now. Uh, Audible, is it's worth it to me. It's like 15 bucks a month, but it's completely worth it to me. That's expensive. It's, it's, it's good. Do they have a cheaper version? I, I think, I don't know. I don't think so. That's a lot. It, it's it's definitely worth it. 15 minutes or something. I just feel like people reach. They reach so far. It's like, how have you not pulled a muscle? Truly. I don't know. I just feel like. I Says the woman who just showed us her movement tracker that had no movement. In it. <laughs> no movement stuff checked off. HB's journey said someone with ADHD could not even think of that journal train wreck she has. That's, that's true. That's a very good point. That, that's true. I need to like just be able to express myself a little bit more. And when I'm talking like this and expressing myself and saying how majority of you make me feel, I'm not talking about everybody because there's a large portion of you who message me and who are sweet and who are kind and who give me thumbs up and who try to leave nice comments. But 
you're prevented because people attack you. If you even say something as nice as like, oh, Amberlynn, I like your shirt today. <laughs> like you're attacked and that makes me so sad. And I just feel like at this level of the game, if you think- Oh, fake Gamercat, that's true. They have a free option for Audible mm. where I think you get access to their free books, but it's like- It's much smaller selection probably. It, it's a smaller selection, but the free books are like, Here's Obama's seven autobiographies. Yeah. Here's all this random stuff that nobody wants to listen to. Mm -hmm. I think I'm talking to you. Then if the shoe fits type style, I, I just think we're at that point. Like if I'm ranting and I'm telling you you're hurting my feelings or you're making me feel judged or belittled, I think in your heart you should know like, oh, yo, that's me. I should probably cool my tits or, oh, I know that's not me, you know, because I'm not like that. Like it's, I, I just... I don't know, it just rubs me the wrong way when people are just like, oh my god, I can't believe you talk to your audience like that. No, I'm not. I'm talking to the people who, like, actually... I mean, you are. You're talking to your audience. You have a whole lot of people who, like, actually like your content and <laughs> actually enjoy you, Amber, and all you're doing is nagging the shit out of them and making them not want to watch you. People are saying ghetto in. Yeah, we can, we can check that one off. And random background noise. That is a bingo. All around, I'm a pink bird. I'm walking all around, better drink some wah wah. This is big nail energy. Uh, I'm just. So much. You always were a rough one. <laughs> truly, 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 like, just don't belong here. Like, if you have a bad aura, bad energy, you make me feel bad about myself, you don't belong here. Amber, nobody can make you feel any way about yourself. You feel bad about yourself because you know. That's all I'm going to say. Yep. I feel like it goes both ways. If I make you feel just bad, you don't belong here. A, a lot. Hammond all of means. them. Hammond all the, all of the, all of them. All of the upper. Either. I don't want to make <laughs> anyone ever feel. Who was that? That is a uh, Mark Rabelais. You guys aren't hip to Mark Rabelais. You better be. Anything other than like happy. And obviously <laughs> my content is not always happy. Like this is my life. So I do show very sad things as well. And I show my struggles, et cetera, et cetera. But I never want to make you as a person feel crappy or belittled. Or you do that a lot. Though. You literally do that. You Almost every video. That's what you do. You trash people every which way when you get in a bad mood. Yep. So it's okay for you to do it, just not for people to, what you believe, do it to you. Right. I feel bad about yourself. I, I never want that. That's <laughs> never my goal. And I just feel like there's a lot of people who watch me who like downright enjoy seeing me fail. And oh God, I could you talk about this. That would make you strive to prove them wrong. Mm. So for, like stay on a diet for more than three days to stick it to the haters. But no. A lifetime, but I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> Let me stop. Hi, how are you? Okay, so I was rambling for like a solid 10 more minutes oh about boy. my weight and stuff. And I'm like, you know Good what? You we'll... that out. <laughs> it's a, such editing much while. We'll save that for my weigh-in video. <laughs> so I actually edited out a bunch right here. Um, I edited out actually a lot in this video. It was like an hour long. And I said, girl, calm down. You don't need to be rambling this much. So no, just you don't. the change in topics was very sudden, but it's... <laughs> Smooth. It was more smooth um, if it wasn't for me cutting out this big chunk, but I just wanted to pop in here and let you guys know that's why the transition isn't so smooth. Okay, love you, bye. Like, especially with the <laughs> especially. whole weight loss surgery thing. Like, I'm so excited. Oh, I really hope this is good for me. I hope that this is finally, like, my turn. My turn to do the... You can do it. You just have to do it. <laughs> yeah, she has to do it. Damn thing and do the right thing and... I don't know, I just really, I, I think I've let go of false dreams. Like I've she let go on of- thinks she's James Cameron. She really does. <sighs> like, oh, one day I just, I want to be the most athletic person. You know, like that's stupid. Just like it's never gonna happen. It? 
I think what I really am aiming for now is to just live. I want to live. And by living, I want to experience and do. Living. Ask her how she's living. And <laughs> that's what I want. I don't want to be the best of the best. I don't want to lose so much weight that I'm like skinny. That's not what I want. <laughs> nobody expects you to, Amber. Just be healthy, ma'am. Just be healthy. Not, not nobody expects you to. No one thinks you will. I want to live. I want to experience. And I want to do. I think that with the surgeon, she's uh, she's pretty good. Um, the research I've done on her. And like you get to watch this little like video thing and like learn about her. And she seems legitness. Okay. <laughs> Like, it's all good reviews. Um, obviously, like, the surgery part does scare me. I've had a hysterectomy, and it went beautifully. But you just never know. It's kind of scary. I don't want to think about that, though. I try not to, like, think about the scary, the what-ifs. Um, we're not even there yet, so let's not even... Uh, but, yeah, the appointment is officially scheduled. And I'm just really excited. And I'll definitely tell you guys more about it if I feel comfortable. And I don't know. I just... I don't want to be uh, persuaded. Pers persuaded is that the word um in any direction because some people are like you don't need weight loss surgery it's such a bad idea it is it is a bad idea you're gonna i mean it's a good idea if she is ready it's, it's like a junkie they can go to rehab a million times but if they're not ready to actually quit they're just gonna come out and do the same thing they were doing exactly she has to be ready if she's ready awesome you're gonna do it you're gonna fucking kick ass you're gonna change your diet, change your lifestyle, you're going to lose the weight, you're going to be healthy, and you're going to survive. But if you're not ready and you're just doing it because you feel like you should or it might be easier than dieting, it's you're just going to screw yourself over. Well, we know she's not going to. Is she, maybe. Maybe she, if she can get herself in the right headspace and want to do it. It's I, I, I'm too cynical. I just don't think it's going to happen. I hope for the best for her. I just don't think it's going to happen. And I'm just like, why? Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I don't want your opinion. I didn't ask. <laughs> like, and I mean that in the nicest way possible. Joanna Lama said she's not ready. She couldn't even handle having candy in her home. That's, that's true. Like, I just, I don't want your opinion on this. I don't want anyone's opinion. Like, at all. Then turn your comments off. That's that simple, yeah. Turn off but the comments. you're not going to because, you know, no comments means less interaction with the video and less propulsion in the algorithm. So you're not going to turn your comments off and you're going to keep putting the stuff out there publicly and monetized and people are going to give their opinion. You yep. don't it, you. It's one or the other. That's all there is to it. One or the other. Either don't talk about it and don't get opinions or talk about it and get opinions. That's all there is. This is the Internet. It's not a Lynn Tater ship. It's the Internet. Oh, and then people get upset if I don't take your advice. Like, I ain't you. asking. Not with this. Because I need to choose this for me and do this for me. Anyways, it's a lot of rambling when you don't film every day. So when you finally do film, you can't stop talking, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you on the next one. I'm thinking next one is going to be a vlog. So I'll see you then. Bye. We're going to get a vlog of her not leaving the house. Hmm. Super awesome. Okay, it's time. It's time for foodie.